but it's going to have a flag, it's going to have a TPD patch, and it's going to have police on the back. You will see us patrolling like this the majority of the time. But when we have to deal with lawbreakers, with anarchists who have nothing to do with voicing an opinion, they're just going out and destroying property and breaking the law and battering officers, this individual will transition into the hard gear. So normally you'll see us like this because we're envisioning very little violence. We're hoping, we're envisioning very little violence from the lawbreakers. Once we have a crisis, we will be mobilized. They will be in a standoff position or a stand down position either on buses or somewhere close to where this process is taking place. From there, he will transition into the hard gear. Understand, he's not transitioning or walking to this uh, to these lawbreakers or anarchists and you know putting on the gear and hopping and putting on patches. It's nothing like that. He's already going to be transitioned in that gear. He's going to be in a standby position. So we're going to have a number of officers in the soft uniform, which are the tan BDUs, the shirt, and then we're going to have a number of officers that are going to be in the hard turtle gear in a standby position. We're not going to hold something when there's no reason to hold it. We're not just going to be standing out there in 100 degree weather because understand with this gear, it goes up a couple of degrees. And the longer you stand there, it goes up a couple of degrees. So the heat is going to be our biggest factor as far as officers. On the other side, for the anarchists, the ones that are the lawbreakers, the ones that are just coming here to destroy stuff, to batter police officers, they have no point in voicing an opinion. They're just absolute lawbreakers. They have heat to contend with, too. We keep telling our officers again and again and again, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. you got to drink water, drink water, drink water. Once you're thirsty, it's too late. You're probably in that dehydration mode. So that's probably one of the biggest factors that we're fighting right now. As you can see, it takes a few minutes for him to put on this gear. Thus, he's already going to be somewhere with this gear on, but out of the heat in a standby mode. The hardest thing is the arms. The arms are the trickiest. The numbers on the helmet are specific to that officer. In other words, we know 2301 is Officer Dustin Kennedy. The numbers are specific to that officer. 